Hi. All right. So it's been a while since I've critiqued a silent film from China. I did so Toll of the Sea. <laughs> Tripped over my words. So I did Toll of the Sea. Um, I found this one, and it turns out that it is the oldest known um, silent film from China. So that I did not know until I looked it up. <laughs> so it has two titles. I found it under the name Romance of a Fruit Peddler. And I'll of course give the Chinese I'm not even going to try to say it, because, <laughs> like I said, last thing I want to do is say it and then upset people. So, I found it under Romance of a Fruit Peddler. It is also known as Laborer's Love. So... The main character, there's differing ideas of the main character. I've seen where it says that he was a carpenter turned fruit vendor, and then other places say that he was just a fruit vendor. So, either way. So, um... So here's this young man, he's working in, like, the t you know, on the street, and he falls in love with the doctor's daughter, and he wants to marry her, and the doctor says absolutely not because of this young man's status. <laughs> but that, that doesn't stop him. <laughs> I love his determination. I, I think it's just wonderful. The doctor in this movie is an older gentleman and he has like the glasses and the and uh you know it's kind of like you think like the typical american stereotype of old yeah but <laughs> but to see that i was like oh <laughs> but i loved the doctor <laughs> i absolutely adored him and um But this young man, he decides that he's going to marry this girl. And she's already, um, he's going to prove himself because the doctor has said that she will marry who can help this doctor's failing medical practice. <laughs> the way he does, I'm not going to tell you, because that would give away way too much, but the way he does it is actually genius. And, I mean, I was looking at it, I'm like, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> It's, it's hilarious because, like I said, you watch it and you're like, what is going, what, that can't, of course. <laughs> it's just, it's fun. It's absolute fun. And it, it's one of those comedy romances that is just 
wonderful the characters and you know what's funny to me like I said before I get ahead of myself um the characters are relatable and uh, you know you have the young man who is in love and the young girl she loves him and then you have the dad who absolutely not you know <laughs> and um so a solution has to be found and and um but the funny thing is that at the beginning it it seem it may seem to drag I actually didn't mind it because you see a lot of the street life and there's other parts where you see certain I really didn't mind it because it gave you a flavor of how life was in China at that time. I enjoyed watching it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, um, you know, like another time, you know, like I said in Ben Hur, the the fighting seemed to drag a little bit. It's like, okay, you're fighting, you're fighting, you're fighting. You, okay, you fought the pirates. We get it. Can we move on now? <laughs> And, you know, there were other parts where it was like, okay, street life, street life, okay, we've, we've seen this. <laughs> but with this, I really did not mind. You know, you saw the, you saw him interacting with the people around him in the street, you know, the other vendors. They were interacting. You saw a tax collector come by and talk to them, and and um, it was enjoyable. There was activity. It wasn't like okay, okay, we get it. It was, it was fun to watch. <laughs> For me, anyway, it might drag for some. You know, you might watch it and you're like, Ugh, whatever. <laughs> um, like I said, his whole thing, I'm not going to tell you how it worked, but his solution, the young man's solution to um, save the practice, is just, it's genius. You think it shouldn't work, but it does, and it's just fun and everything. This is considered the earliest film in China. It was released in 1922, and um, is there an actually? Uh, is it October 5th, 1922? And, um, yeah, like I said, I would tell you, I'll, I'll put everything in the description because I'm not about to say these names because, um, the title cards have Chinese and English, which surprised me. Um, some of the, like, uh, opium, when I talked about opium, I don't think I talked about the title card so much, I just, but it's all in German. I think that's the one, because there's a couple of them where it's just all in German. So there's a lot of them where it's in the language that they were released but this one had both English and Chinese. And um, what it says here is a clear indication that at this early point in its history, cinema in Shanghai was made not only for the Chinese, but for the many Westerners residing there as well. So, Um, that explains that, maybe. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so anyway, as I will make sure to put all the names of the, there's only three in the cast, um, the, the carpenter, or fruit seller, carpenter, like I said, in, when I looked this particular film up, sometimes it would say that he was a carpenter turned fruit seller, like an unemployed carpenter turned fruit seller, and other times it would just say he was a fruit seller. So, either way, I I don't know <laughs> um, if there's anyone who could say exact, please, by all means. You know, I have no problem with that. And then, of course, the doctor and his daughter. Those are the only three that are given credit in this film that I was able to find. And I'll, of course, put all of that, the um, written and directing are all. And it's only, like I said, it's only 30 minutes. I think I said that. So, but it, it's a, it's a fun film, like a romantic comedy. It, it's lot, lots of fun, worth, <laughs> I don't know why I have to say it, yeah, worth seeing, but for being the earliest known film in China, yeah, I, I would highly recommend it. Yeah. <laughs>